So in this video, you're going to see two trips. You're going to see day one, which is coming up right now, and then you're going to say see day two. But I better go and film that because I haven't filmed that yet. Uh, where should we go with this one today? Should we go? It's called the lower one. Let's go for extreme close ups of hopefully lobsters. Grab. Some gloves, hopefully the driest ones, those aren't bad. Those aren't bad. These ones I think I used yesterday, so they'll be wet. size might not be yeah check it it's probably uh, the effect just under I'll check it in a minute Just under that one. Oh, look, see me 
meat again. Take the good with the bad. Hello, there's the good. <laughs> there's only a little one. But it has broken up the morning and we've got seaweed again. I'm going to eat it. Got the seaweed, got the fish. It's a lovely looking one. Look at the golden colour on that one. That's a stunning looking little fish, that one. Better be a bit cautious. Look at that, it's got a real golden colour to it. Not just your normal silver. Spin it, you'll see the other side as well. Lovely. Right, just put it back. Just around a bit more. Right, grab it and hold on to dear life. There's no barbs on these, but I still don't want the hook in my hand. Lovely little one. Like I said, a lovely golden colour to it as well. Anyway, here we go. Nice to see some small bass around there. anywhere really. There's no stop moving for a minute, please. There's no um, specific spot. I'm just fishing here because it's near my mooring, but anywhere near rocks and that, just you know, motor up. If you don't catch them near the rocks on those rocks, just move motor along a little bit. I'm trying to get my line over the weed. <laughs> I hooked the fish. This feels a bit bigger, or it's, it's badly hooked up. Or have I got two fish? I think I've just caught two fish. There's two fish on this line. Let's see if we can get them in. Check that out. Two fish on that little lure. How's about that? <laughs> awesome. I wasn't expecting that. Right, let me get them unhooked and put them back. Runs off. I thought they might fall off. Um, well, I pulled them out of the water, but they didn't. catch bass two at a time. Have I done that before? Yes. About four times now. In the last two years I've done it four times. Prior to that I've never done that. And I've also landed two large bass like that. That was a challenge bringing those in. Okay. 
seaweed. Oop, almost hit the camera with the lure. What's up with the hooks today? Now they're hooking each other, they were hooking the line. Oh, and just to say it again, these, I, actually that's the first, because I landed those two bass, oh, there's one behind it, there we go. Um, I landed those two bass, and this, this is the, one of the lures that's barbless, that I've flattened the barbs on, which is pretty cool, to land two at the same time. So that's the first, two fish on, on, on a barbless lure. Oh, they're getting bigger, or is it just me? It's just me. <laughs> the mind starts to play tricks. You start thinking, oh, that's a bigger one. This is like, nah, it's not really. Right, this one's on. Don't move, don't move, don't move. I'm trying to do this gently so I don't harm the fish, but. See, he's taking the hook a little bit deeper, this one, although it's not in the gill, so. He'll be alright. There we go. Another one. we have it, nothing in the pots, nothing to take anyway, and a few small bass, and oh it was great just to catch those two bass on that lure, I enjoy doing things like that, <laughs> but um, no I don't expect to catch much at the moment anyway, it's, I mean we're pulling everything out and you know it's not about catching fish now, keepers really, I mean I, I would like a few for the freezer but it's not important, not at the moment. We've got some more days to go yet, so we'll see you on the next one. Right, so coming up is day two. Right, it's a very calm and crisp morning. Um, just going to go do our eight pots that we've got out. Going to bring another two back in. And I'm going to leave six out for the next few days. It, it, it seems like the weather might be alright next week, so I'll pull them in close and... Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll take the boat back in over there, but I can get to them on high tide when it's like in the bay. And uh, yeah, we'll just play around with those pots for a few days. We'll see if we're catching them. If we don't, we'll, we'll take them out. But um, we'll see how we get on. Right, I'm going to. I might just try over there near the rocks while the tide's at this state. Just for a quick, quick, quick couple of casts. I just want to see if there's any um, bass, because I saw some swirls very shallow in the bay when I just. When I came out, which is interesting, because the tide's going down. I haven't that close then when the tide's dropping like this. So, always worth a quick look. Being it's dawn, dawn tends to be a, you know, a great time to be fishing for bass. So we'll give it a quick go there, then we'll head out and do the pots. Um, or we'll head out and fish and then grab the pots. I haven't decided yet, to be honest. There's a bit of weed here actually, but I'll just get past it. I don't know why the weed's gathering in here. I've never noticed it before. <laughs> Might have been a spoil in the motion there, I'll check again. Avoid the weed. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. 
Yeah, it was. <laughs> Bass in the morning. Try again. Let's see if we've got anything today. We didn't do very well yesterday. across a bit, put those back where we were for a second try. I've only got two sets here now. We've got a couple of sets in. We'll see if we do those after. Normally on a small tides like this, we do well. When the tides run fast, we don't tend to do as well usually. Another pot that's got nothing in it apart from a little, little brown crab, a little female. Oh well. I'm probably going to take these ones back because they are a pretty new ones. This, is, this one was built this year, so I'll take that one back. That's one thing. Lots we put the door in. I'll go and check the other pots. This one's going to be better. Check it after we've got the other pot up. Might just be under, might just be over. Yeah, nice one here. Maybe I should leave the pot here. Two in here, but one is a real beauty. Look at that. That's an absolute beauty of a lobster, that one. It's got to be two and a half, two, two and a half pounder, that one. I might, I might actually put these pots back here. That one as well, I need to check it, and I think that's probably under that one. Yeah, I'm going to, um, let me bait up and drop these pots back here. We've got like a few days still, we're going to be fishing tomorrow, mainly. Not really doing pots. We don't big ones big enough. I think this one will be under. This has got a long shell. 
Ooh, barely. You can probably see there's just under by a couple of mil. But it's under, so back it goes. This one, again, is going to be close. Same, a couple of mil under, that one. Oh well. And this one, well, I mean, what can I say? Back of the eye socket to the, that's uh, three quarter inch over the size. The centimeters over the size, that one. Okay. Got lobster. Nice. Good start. And this is one of those really odd looking crabs. Let me show you. Hold on. I don't know if it'll focus in on that at all or. Might need my camera for that one. Let's see if we've got anything in these pots. See the bottom, clear as day. Which is great because it will show me where to put my pot. All the pots. Should really shorten the ropes on these and put shorter ropes on. I'm going to motor over to the pot. So. In fact, I'm going to have a look at a pot under water. Stick you in the water. Now the sound might go a bit funny on this camera in a minute once I take it out of the water, but they always do. But let's see if we can see a lobster in it. So there's the pot down there. Back there, there's only lobsters in it. Doesn't look like it. There you go, that's the pot we just had a look at. Don't know whether you saw it or not. I didn't see it. But I think it's undersized. We'll do the next pot. Right, here's the other one. Anything in it? It's like, I don't know, I'm not sure with this one though. You never know though. This one is legal. It's got a small claw, but it is actually a legal lobster. It's literally about a mil over, but it's legal. There you go, this one might have a small claw, but that is a legal lobster. It's about a millimeter over that one. I mean, I love that one myself. I, I keep the ones with the funny claws usually. And that's good. So, is there anything in this pot? No, 
have to shout louder, I can't hear you. Go in and have a look past the mouldy old bait. Use the trap. There he is. And there's also a little crab there as well. So it goes to show you that the lobsters are very close. It's like I said, that's right on the low tide mark. You get to that on a big tide, but a lot of the lobsters will be little like this. We had one that's just on size, but all these are going to be too small. There you go. Another one. Yeah. There you have it, another one. Like I say, you, quite often you'll get these small ones close in. Um, they get away from all the predators when they come in close like this. But I mean, that's about nearly a centimetre undersized, that one. Well, not quite half a centimetre. Yeah. But you do get the odd ones. You do get a few now and again, like that one there. Right. Time to head in. So there we go, two nice lobsters, one real big one, one small one. That one there, size limit is 8.8, uh, 8.7, that one's 8.8 .8 and a bit. <laughs> so, just makes it, it's got a small claw, but you still got the claw, the tail meat, and these ones, I tend to gather a couple of those together when they're one claws and cook them up myself, so. There we have it. Turned out to be a nice day, hopefully it'll be like this tomorrow, because I want to go out at dawn. Try a bit of bassing, a bit of pollocking, get a couple of nice trips in before the uh, season is done. Because like I say, we are pulling up a bit earlier this year. Although I'm glad we've made it this far. Like I say, we had that slow leak and to get this far is good. I was worried that, you know, when you see a bit of water in your boat, that you might have to pull it out that day. But no, we're good. Right, it's time to go and get some breakfast.